I'm going to do here is a dish, uh, a very seasonal dish um, of Sandgate potatoes. Um, a very good potato which is grown literally a mile from here. Oxide daisies, an oxide daisy spread, puff pork fat and some flowers. We start off the plate with a, a spread made of oxide daisy flowers, the whole thing. Beautiful Sandgate potatoes with a bit of cooked sous vide um, for a couple of hours with uh, different flavourings. Really lovely, sweet succulent potatoes. Got some lovely green mustard which we've grown on the farm. Then a run red mustard equivalent. And then we've got some lovely crispy puff pork skin. Gives it a little bit of texture. Gives it a, a little bit more luxury. And then we've got loads of lovely different flowers, calendulas, violas, violets, nasturtiums. A few oxide daisy petals. Lovely bronze fennel fronds. And to finish it off, an oil made from the leaves of the oxide daisies. And finish with a little bit of salt. So, quite a simple dish, but one I think which really highlights our style and the produce that we've got available to us. Next up, um, probably one of our specialities, uh, Valley Venison in charcoal oil with mustard and fennel. We start off on this Cumbrian slate with a bit of caper jam. And just spread a little smear of that. Gives it a nice twang, a nice uh, fruity element to it. Some raw venison, um, which is um, from, from our own valley, so just down the road. So with that, we mix some salt, um, some uh, Tabasco, um, and a little bit of coal oil. The meat is very tender because it's not cooked but it gives off the sensation of being cooked because of the charcoal flavour. So it's quite a unique sensation. So then we have a little bit of chopped gherkin, some lovely micro fennel. Once again, the advantage of having your own farm, you, know, you can pick things as small or large as you want them. And then we've got some shallot rings along the lines of a, a traditional tartar. And then we've got the really unusual part, which are candied fennel shots, which give it a lovely texture, but also a massive hit of fennel. Fennel shoots, all our herbs that we put onto the plate are growing. It's the ultimate of freshness, and it tastes absolutely amazing. And then we put in some gaps, little dollops of mustard mayonnaise. Adds to the hotness of the Tabasco and the venison gives it a bit of a kick and we finish it with a little, a little bit of smoked salt and finally a couple of drops of the coal oil on top. There we go.